Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. What a mighty day to serve the great king. What a great day to honor him who is the maker of us all. What a great opportunity to call upon him who has answers to everything that pertains to our lives. Today, I'd like to encourage you from the book of Matthew chapter number 12 and verses 35 through verses 37. Matthew chapter 12, verses 35 through verses 37. And it says, A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure brings forth evil things. But I say to you that for every idle word men may speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. For by your words, you will be justified, and by your words, you will be condemned. <laughs> so here Jesus was actually speaking, and he was speaking to his disciples, and he was speaking to the people who are with him, and he began to des describe something. And he began to describe by saying, a good man, out of the good treasures of his heart, will bring forth good things. And an evil man, out of the evil treasures of his heart, will bring forth evil things, which means every man has a treasure. A treasure is something that is valuable. Now, we understand that God, Jesus, was actually talking about your spirit because he's saying that there are, earthen, there are treasures in this earthen vessel. In other words, your body has got a treasure. And therefore, if there are treasures in this earthen vessels, so whatever we do, we know it was being done of God. So he's saying, watch the treasure that is in you. Because where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. In other words, whatever you value, your mind will go towards it. So check the value of yourself and see where is my value. And so Jesus says, wherever your value is, will either bring things that are good, or wherever your value is will bring things that are evil. Why? Because your mind will go in the things that you value. And the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. And that's why he says in the next thing that, but I say to you that every idle word man may speak, they will give account of it on the day of judgment. Which means now you begin to speak what is in your treasure. Because wherever you treasure, your mind goes to it. And wherever your mind goes to it, your mouth is able to expose it. And so Jesus is saying, when you take care of your treasure, you check what is in your treasure, what comes out of your mouth will either bring condemnation or will either bring freedom. So you choose what you want to say by actually allocating or realizing what is in your treasure. If your treasure is in the Lord, your treasure is to walk in the love of God, your treasure is to have peace with God and peace with man. Guess what? Your words will be words of love. Your words will be words of peace. Your words will be words of comfort. But if your treasure is not in God, your treasure is in the world. Guess what? You will be fighting with every single man. You will be competing with every single man. You will be cursing out men. Why? Because your heart is full of evil. Because in this world, there is evil. And Satan is the God of this world. And is blinding the minds of many so that they do not see the light of the glorious gospel. But Jesus is saying, you watch your treasure. Watch your heart. As you watch your treasure and you watch your heart and place your treasure in God. Therefore, the words of God will come out of the treasure of your heart and every word you speak will bring liberty and not bondage. Every word you speak will bring freedom and not condemnation. And so Jesus is teaching us the way to be able to be a blessing is the way we are up to able to look at what is in our treasure. So today I'd like to encourage you and speak to you at the same time. Do you treasure the things of God Above the things of the earth, I'm not going to say more than the things of the earth, above the things of the earth, because the things of the earth are there to be a blessing to us, but God has to be treasured above that. And if you treasure the, thing, the, the, the things of God far above the things of the earth, you treasure the word of God above the things of the earth, guess what? Your treasure will be full of the word of God, and you'll be acting out the word of God, which means we'll be seeing love, joy, patience, meekness, goodness, faithfulness coming out of you. So today, remember, check your heart. Know what is in your heart. Then begin to speak according to what is in there. 
and you'll see freedom, liberty, joy, blessing, and peace coming out of you. Stay blessed and have a wonderful day.